Mr. President, distinguished members of the IOC, I am Enrique Meireles, the Governor of the Central Bank of Brazil. It's a great honor to be able to be with you again. In Lausanne, I was privileged to be able to detail the strength of the Brazilian economy, even in the face of the global crisis that has hit some nations so very hard. Today, I am delighted to confirm that the Brazilian economy is even stronger and ready for the games. Since my presentation in June, Brazil has demonstrated continued positive results. We have seen growth of almost 8% in the second quarter. We have recorded our lowest ever unemployment rate for the month of July. And the highest ever number of new jobs created in the month of August, a total of 242,000. This ongoing economic strength underpins our long-term aims, our investments, and also our Fund for National Development. This $240 billion fund is already being spent and is supporting the capital programs of Rio 2016. It underpins Rio's non-OCOG budget which has been agreed in complete partnership with all three levels of government. A budget that is complete, transparent, and totally guaranteed. Major companies are also keen to invest in sport and the Olympic movement, as seen by the recent Olympic television deal signed by our broadcasters making Brazil the third largest market for the IOC. A market that's growing, taking our GDP close to $2 trillion. Ours is the 10th largest economy in the world, and the World Bank predicts that it will be fifth by 2016. We are already the fifth largest advertising market, growing at 13% per year. And thanks to the recent discovery of the world's largest new oil field, we now have one of the planet's biggest oil reserves. As a nation, we know that you can deliver. We have provided guarantees that can give you certainty. Our economic strength can give you confidence to bring the games to Rio in 2016.